our today's topic is Buenos Aires, uh, Unit 7, Subunit 7.4, Speak Out Elementary. Uh, as you know, Buenos Aires is uh, the capital of uh, Argentina. And let's start from the first exercise here, 1A. What are we going to do? We are going to look at the photos and answer the questions below. Let's start. What can you see in Buenos Aires? Uh, in the first photo, we see a very popular sport in Argentina, which is called polo. In the second photo, we see a famous football, uh, footballer in Argentina, Diego Maradona. In the third photo, we see famous Argentinian beef. Here we see uh, tango. Uh, it's also very popular in Argentina uh, and here we can guess uh, that it's the widest street in the city in Buenos Aires and after watching DVD and uh, reading the text it will be understandable for us how uh, is it uh, how it's called so the name of this uh, street and the last photo so um, you see uh, that uh, there are uh, poor buildings, so it's the poorest part, uh, one of the poorest regions in um, uh, in the city in Buenos Aires. Uh, now let's pass on our text, uh, try to read the text and check our answers. Uh, holiday ten best. In the last of 10 programs looking at exciting holidays, Nikki Chapman takes us on a quick tour of Argentina's capital. She starts her tour at the amazing Avenue 9th July and then visits La Boca, where football legend Diego Maradona started his career. She also watches people dance the tango, tries the popular sport of polo, and eats some famous Argentinian beef. So, from the text, it's clear that we were right in our guesses. So, it's popular sport polo, Diego Maradona, tango, famous Argentinian beef. And uh, it's called uh, Avenue the 9th July. Uh, and it's the poorest part of um, in Buenos Aires. Uh, what are we going to do now? In the second exercises, uh, we will watch a DVD about Argentina and after watching uh, this uh, DVD, we will put these photos uh, in the order uh, Nikki talks about them. So let's start watching the DVD. And finally, the country that I'm in. Argentina. The 20 lane Avenue 9th of July is the widest street on the planet. And if you need to know where you are in the city, it's an easy reference point as it cuts through the metropolis from north to south. La Boca, the port where the first Spaniards landed, is one of the poorest regions in the city. The people of La Boca share one of Argentina's greatest passions, football. From its slums have come some of the greatest players and its most famous team. La Boca is where Diego Maradona, one of football's leading legends, began his career. So why is football so important to Argentinians? Because we are a very passionate country. We are Latins. In every way we have passion for football, for music. We are also famous for the tango. People started dancing the tango in the 1800s. It's a dance full of passion and emotion. I've been 
been riding on and off since I was eight or nine, and I love horses. I've never played polo before, and apparently Argentina is a good place to learn. Morning, Juan. Morning, Gada. First lesson. the video and now we can just uh, put these uh, photos in the correct order in the order Nikki Chapman talks about them so first she talked about um, Avenue the 9th July about this photo second about La Boca it's the poorest region uh, one of the poorest regions in uh, Buenos Aires then she talked about football so we can guess that it's the second photo because uh, Diego Maradona is a famous uh, footballer in uh, Argentina. The next, uh, she talked about tango, famous dance in Argentina. And uh, then she uh, talked about polo, sport, famous sport in Argentina. And the last uh, one. Uh, the last uh, photo is um, about Argentinian beef. Now, uh, as you watched the video, uh, so uh, we can just um, match the words here from one to six uh, with uh, descriptions from A to F. So let's start. The Avenue 9th July. It's understandable. Uh, that uh, it's the widest street in the city. So 1C. La Boca. La Boca uh, is one of the poorest parts of Buenos Aires. 2A. Diego Maradona. Uh, he's uh, one of the most famous football players in the world. The tango for uh, is a famous dance for D. Polo is a sport you do on a horse. So five E. Argentinian beef uh, is uh, the best in the world. We just uh, finished these two exercises 2a and uh, 2b now we are going to watch this uh, dvd again and uh, and just complete the extracts uh, below here with the words in the box which words famous vegetables salt football widest meat immersion Korea. Uh, we'll watch the video, then uh, I will pause uh, the video and one by one we will just fill in these gaps. So let's start. And finally, the country that I'm in, Argentina. Avenue 9th of 
July is the widest street on the planet, and if you need to know where you are in the city, it's an easy reference point as it cuts through the metropolis from north to south. So here, uh, the first word will be is the widest street on the planet, and second word, it, it cuts through the city from north to south. Now let's pass uh, to our next uh, next two words and watch it. Uh, let's continue watching. One of the poorest regions in the city. The people of La Boca share one of Argentina's greatest passions, football. One of its slums have come some of the greatest players and its most famous team. La Boca is where Diego Maradona, one of football's leading legends, began his career. So our two words here, first one will be football and second one uh, will be Korea. Let's go on. Football or music, we are also famous for the tango. People started dancing the tango in the 1800s. It's a dance full of passion and emotion. So our two words here are, uh, we are also famous for the tango, and it's a dance full of passion and emotion. And, and let's find our last two words here. The British originally came to Argentina for meat. Today, Argentina is still famous for its beef. It's considered the best beef in the world. Big meat eaters over here, aren't they? Yeah, I think... The, the average of meat that a person in Argentina eats per year is like 80 kilos in one year. That's a lot. The average. So that's, that's a lot. You can't be a vegetarian, can you, with all this fantastic meat? If you want, you have great with vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Very social, isn't it? As you say. So the first one here, fantastic meat. And we have very good vegetables. So we found all the words here. Let's check them again. Uh, first one will be the widest street. Second, from north to south. Third, football, Korea. Fifth, famous. And uh, here, um, emotion. Fantastic meat and good vegetables. Our next exercise here is um, for a. Uh, it's about description of a town or city that you know uh, well. Uh, while describing a town or city, uh, it's uh, important to add some uh, general facts about this place. So here uh, is given. Um, uh, there uh, are given some uh, tips uh, while just descri describing a town or city. You can pay attention to this information. So, for example, um, you can describe your town or your city by um, adding uh, such kind of information, like general information, uh, especially where it is, uh, how big it is, Important places, you can write about the important places of your town, about famous people, and about special food or local dishes. So, while writing something, uh, while writing description of your town, uh, please um, pay attention to this information here, to these tips. Now, uh, we have a recording 7.10. We are going to listen to two students. They will talk about Rimini in Italy. Uh, you will uh, listen and uh, after it, try to find out which things from exercise 4A don't they talk about. I mean, which information, uh, which of these tips 
uh, they didn't talk about. So let's start listening and then just discuss it. And while listening, please uh, try to pay attention to these key phrases that is that are given in this box. Pan. We want to talk about Rimini, an old city on the Adriatic coast in Italy. It's got a beautiful beach and you can swim in the sea in the summer. One of the most important places in Rimini is the cathedral and also the Arch of Augustus. Ah, but for me, the most important place is the beach. Yes, for me too. <laughs> and at night, the bars on the beach. You can go dancing. It's really good fun. <laughs> and what about the food? Well, uh, a typical food from Rimini is puntarelli, or pasta with fresh vegetables. But the fish is really amazing. The city is by the sea, so the fish is very fresh. So... We think Rimini is a beautiful, relaxing place. You can sit on the beach all day, eat great food, and dance all night. Now, let's discuss um, uh, which information did uh, they give about Rimini and uh, which information uh, did they omit. So, uh, general information, uh, where it is, how big it is, uh, let's listen and uh, let's listen again and try to say. Unit 7, recording 10. We want to talk about Rimini, an old city on the Adriatic coast in Italy. It's got a beautiful beach and you can swim in the sea. And the... So they talked, uh, they just uh, gave general information, especially where it is, I mean the location, how big it is, they didn't, uh, didn't talk about the, uh, how big it is, but uh, they talk about the, about the location. Summer, one of the most important places in Rimini is the cathedral and also the Arch of Augustus. Ah, but for me, the most important place is the beach. <laughs> yes, for me too. <laughs> and at night, the bars on the beach. You can go dancing. It's really good fun. <laughs> and what about the food? Well, uh, a typical food from Rimini is puntarelli, or pasta with fresh vegetables. But the fish is really amazing. The city is by the sea, so the fish is very fresh. So we think Rimini is a beautiful, relaxing place. <laughs> you can sit on the beach all day, eat great food and dance all night. So they talked about important places in Rimini and about special food um, in this city, but they didn't touch the uh, this information, famous people. I mean, they didn't talk about famous people in Rimini. And our last exercise here, 5A, um, a travel article. We're going to read the description of Rimini. And after reading, we'll just divide the article into four paragraphs. Why it, uh, is it important to divide the article into paragraphs? Uh, because it uh, makes the text uh, understand easily. And even while writing about, uh, while, uh, about the description of your town or city, you can just um, divide your article into paragraphs and it will make uh, the text uh, to um, organize uh, easily uh, and and it will make other people uh, to understand your text um, easily. So let's start reading the description of this text article. Rimini is an old city on the Adriatic Sea in Italy. It's famous for its beautiful beach and also for the cathedral and the uh, Arch of Augustus. The Rimini nightlife is amazing. There are lots of places to dance and have fun. One of the most famous people from Rimini is the film director Federico Fellini. He made many films, for example, Amacourt, uh, La Dolce Vita and La Strada. His ideas for his films sometimes came from his childhood in Rimini. A typical food in Rimini is Pontarelli. This is a pasta dish with fresh vegetables. It's very simple but delicious. 
Rimini is also a good place to eat fish. I like traveling and I like going to new places, but I go to Rimini every year because uh, I love the beaches and the nightlife. We have uh, some words here that can be uh, much, um, they can be difficult for you. Uh, the first one is cathedral. What is a cathedral? It's a building for a uh, Christian worship. So here we can see the photo of it. Uh, so this is cathedral. Uh, and our next word is the Arch of Augustus uh, in Rimini. So you can see in this photo, it's the Arch of Augustus. What is Arch? Uh, so uh, it's... So uh, Arch, uh, it's um, a curved, uh, curved top. It's a structure consisting of curved top on two supports. So as you see here. Now let's just uh, divide this article into four paragraphs. The description of the place, uh, it starts from, uh, from here. Rimini is an old city and it finishes uh, from where it finishes so here, there are lots of places to dance and have fun. So it's our first paragraph. Uh, it's about description of the place, the location. And the second paragraph about the famous person Irimini um, is given here. Uh, one of the most famous people from Rimini is the film director Federico Fellini. It starts here. And uh, it finishes, so it continues till um, his ideas for his films sometimes came from his childhood in Rimini. It will be our second paragraph, starts from here and finishes uh, his childhood in Rimini. And uh, a typical food, a typical food. Uh, it's clear that it starts from here. A typical food in Rimini is Fontarelli. So it starts here and finishes a, a good place to eat fish. Uh, and our last paragraph, your opinion. It's the person's opinion. He talks about, I like traveling and it finishes and the nightlife. So we have four paragraphs, um, a description of the place, a famous person, a typical food, and your opinion. As you see, uh, while just dividing this article into four paragraphs, uh, it doesn't matter, maybe um, our article, so our article can be uh, very long, so it, there can be five or six paragraphs, but it doesn't matter because uh, uh, in each paragraph we have a definite topic and we talked about a definite topic. Now it's your turn to write about your town or city. Uh, your, um, so you can just uh, use these key phrases here. You can add this information into your uh, text. And at the same time, you can just uh, divide your article into paragraphs. Uh, thanks for listening and for watching. All the best.